Well, good afternoon, guys. Long time no see. Um, it's been a lifetime since I've uh, last filmed my um, my session, so I thought I'd better pull my finger out and uh, start filming again. Um, yeah, so I'm back. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. I'll leave you guys decide that. But yeah, um, lots been going on since my last vlog, which I do believe was the was the charity match, in fact. So. Um, I have been out on the bank, but I just got to that stage really where I just wanted to go out and just chill and, and enjoy it because filming vlogs, um, yeah, the filming part of it is, is easy enough, but it's finding the time to edit it um, after. So I had a few months off really. So, but I thought I'd, you know, put my finger out now, guys, and, um, and get another video up. So. I'm on a quick overnight session um, down the birch. Uh, I didn't get here till till the afternoon because the weather was quite bad this morning with heavy showers um, and and high winds. So I waited because looking at the weather forecast, it was it was going to dry up a bit then towards the the afternoon. Still windy, but I thought I'll you no know, set up while it's while it's dry. So. And I've literally just finished um, setting up now, got the rods out. Um, I'm on triple hut. Um, I'm hogging both swims really, but if somebody wants to, um, you know, pull up on to the right of me, by all means they can. I can move a little bit further left, but um, at the moment I'm in the middle of the two swims. So, um, see how it goes in there. It's quite quiet here on the birch today. Um, it's probably because Wales are up for the Grand Slam. Come on, Wales. And, and the fact that the weather's a bit unsettling, really. So um, I've heard a few boys have had their bivvies ripped a bit. You know, um, today one of the boys I think pulled off because his bivvy ripped because the winds are quite high. So, so I'm a little bit concerned about that, but we shall see what you know how it goes. Um, I'm actually trying out a new brolly system as well. It's the Aqua Fast and Light uh, brolly. I'm limited now to doing overnight sessions rather than the longer sessions, guys. So, um, you know, I had the big two man armo bivy, and, um, you know, it's such a ball ache to try and cut the carry that around. I know I've got the barrel, but it's still it's super heavy to do that just for the sake of, you know, an overnight. So, um, I haven't got my dog with me. Bless her. She, uh, she gave me uh, the, the saddest look when I was leaving this morning. So, um, but I, you know, I didn't, it's the first time I'm using this brolly, so I didn't know how much room I'd really have, and it's, you know, it's quite spacious, fair play. In fact, I might even do a little bit of a, a review on that a bit later, so, um, you hear everything about the, the super brollies, you know, the, the Tempests, but you don't hear much, um, well, I haven't heard much about, um, you know, the Aquas Fast and Light, so, but yeah, you know, first impressions of it is pretty good. I done a day session in it last week, or no, sorry, the week before. Yeah, I done a day session in it, and um, but now it's my first overnight there. So we shall see how it goes. Show you the swim a little bit later, guys, as well. Um, regular updates, hopefully, with with plenty of fish to show you. Um, so yeah, usual trick. It's actually it's good to be back. So I'm gonna leave it there for now, and I shall speak to you in a bit. Right then guys, a quick check-in, uh, five o'clock, uh, few liners on my middle rod, bobbing going up and down for a bit, I think I was I initially thought it was a bream on, but uh, I left it and it just settled back down, so um, yeah, feeling positive, I think they're in the area, so happy days, um, yeah, like I said, it's five o'clock now. Um, I've just recast it now before it gets uh, obviously last light. I don't want to disturb too much um, around bite time. Um, I put about four spawns mixed of chop oily, some corn, and some hemp. So I've got some, you know, but four spawns over each um, each spot. Like some twelve and a quarter wraps out on um, on two of my rods, and I kept one rod then, my right hand rod in the margin. So. Um, I can't put a few boilies around that area then as well. So yeah, probably gonna sit on it all night now. Um, I don't want to disturb anything. Like I said, uh, as it's getting dark and 
uh, just tied up some rigs as well ready um, just in case I have anything through the night but uh, yeah bad weather's due to come in about an hour or so so I wanted to also get it done before then um, yeah see how it goes so still quiet on the lake um, Joseph's just turned up now um, and one of the boys has also just left so it's not many on you at all is um, Christopher Dyke up on top single there's a guy on Paul's post um, his beard is zipped up when I uh, when I came so I didn't get to see who was on there I think Joseph's just gone on heavens um, Chris Bell is in the VIP and I think there's somebody on uh, the seawall bank so um, yeah there's plenty of swims available which is quite surprising but like I said it was probably to do with the fact that uh, Wales are on for the Grand Slam and so people staying home to watch that I watched it on the tablet so and happy days we still on for the Grand Slam so yeah um, bit gutted that I didn't have any um, off those uh, indications I was having earlier on but it is what it is and uh, just hopefully they'll come back in the area fingers crossed I'll probably do another little check in before it gets too dark um, but yeah see what's what now right then guys I'm going to leave it there for now and um, like I said I'll do a check in in a bit speak to you soon guys um, nothing much to report really I'm afraid uh, I did lose one um, just as it was getting dark last night so a bit gutted on that one to be honest uh, like I said cause earlier on in the day I had a line on my middle middle rod uh, but the one I lost really was on the left one so uh, only playing playing it about two minutes um, felt all right like but um, yeah that one got away I'm afraid so yeah big I did um, what's the time now 7 o'clock now um, I've been up since about half 5 anyway um, yeah just listening to the radio really and um, I'm watching the lake but no no signs of any showing fish yet I'm afraid so yeah it's going to be a little bit of a tough one I think guys so um, I just recasted now. Um, I did spawn a little bit more out uh, last night as well. Obviously, um, when it was dark, I was just looking at the, the horizon and and I mean, like I'm clipped up anyway, twelve and a quarter wraps. So um, I like to sort of fan my uh, my spotting out anyway. I don't like it all on one spot to make it too obvious. So um, I did put a bit more out. I haven't done any more. On the recast um, I've just done now because like I said it's uh, it's only just turned light now uh, sun is blaring at the moment as you probably see in my face but uh, yeah this temperatures dropped dropped a bit um, winds got picked right up as well so casting is going to be a little bit tricky as well but uh, I managed it first time believe it or not so yeah just sit and hope now. I'm probably going to stay till about uh, till about four, five o'clock today. Um, weather depending, because I know there is another band of rain coming in today, so it all depends how early that comes. Um, I want everything to dry out as as much as I can, really. So, so yeah, um, I'm hoping that the wind's going to die down a little bit. I don't think that's going to happen, though. So. 
Um, but we shall see. We shall see. It is, uh, I'll show you this room, in fact. It's a beautiful day today, apart from the wind. Um, you can see it's quite chilly in the wind as well, so... Still waiting for that proper break in the weather and spring to come along tidy. Just seen two people on the house bank as well. Um, looks like they're pike fishing. Um, I think Paul Foster said he was coming down later today. He usually comes down on Sundays and does an overnight till till Monday, so the lake's usually the quietest then. So yeah. So the, the rigs I'm using guys, I've got a one on a Ronnie rig uh, with a squid orange pop up, like a washed out orange colour. And I've got uh, my favourite rig which is the um, pop up multi rig. I've got a washed out pink squid orange on there and I've also got a snowman rig with a squid orange wafter uh, topped up with some pop-up corn. What I've done as well, I've been putting some boilies on a, on a stringer so I just get that little bit of a, you know, attraction around the, uh, around the hook link. So, yeah. And try and trying something different normally I just to put them in the mesh bags probably the same effect anyway but uh, but yeah I've done a stringer this time and um, like I said about four or five spots then over over each spot apart from the one I've got in the margin down here honestly I've just catapulted some bodies around there then so yeah so that's it guys I'll do a check in a bit later hopefully with some better news so I'll speak to you in a bit I think guys it's uh, 12 o'clock midday still nothing on the bank I'm afraid um, but there are signs of showing fish now so I've uh, on my left rod now I've brought it that a little bit closer um, haven't clipped up on that one um, but I'm literally about 25, 30 yards out. Um, sorry, 20 to 25 yards out. Um, yeah, so that's on the on the left rod, uh, left hand rod. And literally, uh, but like I said, just before I recast it on there, um, there were signs of showing fish over that spot. Hence why I've I've cast it. So. Um, I've managed to, to reach that as well with the cat the pulse, so I've got some free offerings scattered about the place as well. Um, so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, something is going to happen. There was a fish that just boshed over the, the right hand margin where they've got um, a margin rod. So I've got that one still on that spot over there. And my middle rod I've, uh, I've kept at uh, 12 and a quarter wraps. Um, spawned a, a few more um, chopped barley and corn out and some hemp um, hoping it's going to draw them in because now I can you know feeling a bit more positive now because uh, of the show in fish so fingers crossed except stays you know still got about four or five hours left so I'm keeping positive but uh, but it's that dreaded countdown now isn't it you know it's uh, it's coming like and it flies by doesn't it so but yeah um basically guys one of the main reasons i haven't been doing much filming um is because i've got a lot in the pipeline going on at the moment um i've just changed my jobs as well so again that's going to be limited time for me on the bank um so i've got to come up with some sort of plan there to try and get some, some proper bank time. Um, the other thing as well, I've started writing for a new online, it's a free online magazine called Real Fisherman Magazine. It's, um, it's run by Darren Davis, the Y Angler. 
um, he also does uh, um, he, he's wrote some some books that's available on on Amazon as well so and um, I've read one of his, his first books it was good read so you should check him out the way angler um, but yeah but he's basically um, approached me to do a regular piece each each month now for um, this free online magazine so uh, the first issue is available uh, you can click the link on uh, their Facebook page so it's the re real real fisherman magazine and um, yeah you can click the link on there and uh, it takes you straight to the um, to the magazine and that's that's been released so I haven't really had a chance to to read it myself yet because I've been mega busy um, but it's something that, that I am going to do and um, yeah and whether I'll read my piece in there I don't know but um, but yeah exciting times for that um, I've got a uh, provisional trip book to France in October as well um, but that's still you know in the pipeline at the moment as well the, the boys I made to go in um, but I'm still unsure I'm not 100% sure if I am yet um, you know due to numerous things like again time off work finances things like that so fingers crossed I'll have a nice little France trip booked at the end of the year towards the end of the year rather and um, I've also been having people asking about another charity match um, now if I don't do one this year I'm gonna see if I can do one early next year so something like uh, March or April next year um, because I know uh, Nathan Nathan Davis the, the South Wales carper he's doing a charity match down White Springs um, I think that's going to be in September as well so yeah it's you know I don't want to be sort of stepping on people's toes and things like that as well and um, you know what I mean because obviously there's a lot of time and effort goes in these matches and um, but yeah again it, it, the, uh, one of the main reasons for me is, is having the time to organize it um, I know Lenny and and um, Damien and Nathan are both, well, all three of them now, uh, uh, you know, moderators of the group as well. Um, obviously, Nathan's going to be tied up anyway because he's got his own group and page to run. Um, but you've got, um, like I said, Lenny and Damien now. So hopefully, if we can get something in the pipeline, we'll have three of us, you know, helping to organise it. Um, yeah, so fingers crossed and, you know, keep your eyes peeled in the group, guys, because... Um, any updates will certainly go up in there and then and obviously I'll mention them on the vlogs as well so um, yeah also as well I've um, joined Barton's Leds team um, so yeah this is you know, a local company you know I'd like to keep it local and um, you know Carl Barton has been going for one to two years now maybe a bit longer um, I've had Leds from him before um, so I was speaking to Jack, one of the um, the guys who, who's helping him um, with the group. Um, I've bought leads from him before, so it's, some, you know, it's a product I've been using for, for a good few months now. And the opportunity came up, so um, yeah, I'm part of that team as well, which is good. So yeah, so little things have been happening, you know, dotted about the place, but um, not enough bank time, I'm, I'm afraid, for me. You know, it's. Like next week now, I'm, I'm back in work on, on Saturday. Um, so I might sneak a day session in on Sunday. I um, might pop to Tree Nant Fisheries like I did last week. And um, yeah, they caught a nice little um, little common last week. Uh, that's all I had, but I, I was literally only there for half a day. I wanted to get back to watch the match. Um, it's either last week or the week before. Anyway. And um, yeah, so. I was only there for half a day and I managed to, to sneak one halfway through the session. So yeah, I might try and get another day session next week up there. Um, try and get a bit of filming done and something to write about for the magazine as well. Um, and I'm hoping to catch one or two just before I leave now because there's something else to write about. But at the moment, it's blank. But fingers crossed in it. Yeah, so 
just basically guys and so I just thought I'd do this little check in just have a little bit of a chat about what, what has been going on um, like I said you know a few people have messaged me where you know where have I been with my vlogs and I've like I said guys you know I do apologize it's just been mega busy I'm afraid so but hopefully this will be the first of many more to come now this year so right guys I'm waffling on again so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there and I'll do a check in in a bit so I'll speak to you soon right then guys uh, final update from me and this is a blank I'm afraid um, I still got the brolly up at the moment I've taken the over wrap down and I think there is a break now in the rain so I can quickly pack up I think now while it's, uh, it stopped raining so um, like I said I, I will do the usual and leave the rods in you know at the very last minute and um, so if I do catch anything in the meantime though I'll upload the um, you know the picture at the end but as for updates this is the last one um, like I said it's, it's good to be back down yeah um, just a shame I couldn't catch anything and I lost that one as well so but it is what it is and um, can't catch all the time can you so um, and yeah but that's it then guys so thanks for tuning in again I'm um, sorry it's been so long and hopefully you won't have to wait as long for the next one and hopefully the next one will be um, a little bit more to show you so um, but that's it for now guys cheers for tuning in and I shall speak to you soon